Showtime. So, um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you're like forcing a character? Like the character's not really fit in you, but you still try to play them anyway. Do you like them? Yeah, like you like the character, but it's no. But do you like them? Do you like ZSS? Yes, a lot. Well, then that's that's all you need to do, bro. If you like them, then that's that's basically it. If you don't like the character, but you play them because MK Leo plays them, or this is the best character in the game, and if I play them, then I can be the best. But you hate playing them; they're boring. Then that's forcing a character. Um, if you play a character because you genuinely enjoy them, then that's that's all that really matters, right? You can get good with any character. And unless you're playing at the absolute highest level of play, it doesn't really matter who you play as. You can beat every single person okay. at your local. Like, unless you're running into Tweak and MKLeo daily, which basically 99.999% of people are not, it doesn't really matter who you play. Because, like, even for for MKLeo, it doesn't really matter who he plays. He plays Byleth at this point. It's not like, oh, Byleth is top tier, crazy frame data, best character in the game. It's like, this character is arguably decided upon as a like a high mid tier bottom of high tier character not that great but he's still beating the best players in the world right yeah so to say uh to say oh i can't play zss because pikachu's better peach is better joker is better pyro and mythra is better i should be playing them and if you do happen to play one of those characters and you hate life and this is not fun and every game is boring then don't do it I don't play Falco because I think he's the best character. I play him because he plays the way that I want to play. I play him because I want to go off stage. I want to do combos. I want to play a technical style with tech chasing. And I feel like I, I want to work for my kills as far as getting reads and stuff like that. So that's why I play him. Could I play a character that kills way easier and lives way longer and is faster and has more range and all these things? Like definitely I could, right? But. I don't find that to be interesting or or engaging, I should say. That's yeah. just me, though, right? So, with that being said, I'm not telling you to play Falco, right? That, those are the reasons why I like Falco. But if you like ZSS because ZSS is fast, he has flip kicks, he has cool combos, he has ladder combos, he has a projectile, she has good recovery. Like, if you like those things, that's great. If you like her because of her games, that's also great. Right? You can play her for, for whatever reason you want to. Okay. I think the, the easiest way to sum that up is if you turn on the game and as soon as you turn on the game, you immediately feel tired or bored, then maybe you should switch characters. But if you're like, I'm looking forward to playing, this is who I want to play, then I would say you're definitely not forcing your character at all. Okay. That was going into another question I was going to ask you. Like, sure. when you like train on a character for like a really long time do you ever like get bored and want to change characters because i have a bad habit of like moving to the next character when one isn't working out for me define a long time um like a week a month two years a couple hours uh, maybe one or two weeks which um, i know isn't really but um i can when I start getting into more in-depth stuff and watching how you're supposed to play the character, and then like actually trying to apply that, I kind of lose interest. So, when you... You're losing interest because it's getting too difficult, or are you losing interest because it's like, it's so so niche, it's like, who, who actually cares about the super small tech? Like, is, is it more that, or like... Yeah, and it's like, when I try to apply it, and I don't get it, like, in the first tries, which I know practice helps a lot and you can't just like be good with a character overnight yeah but it's like i have a more difficult time um when i actually try to apply that stuff um i can say this much at least zss is one of the harder characters to do that with as far as applying um learning how to do combos with her or ledge trapping or anything like that so if you feel like every time you try and learn anything with her it's got to be the hardest thing in the world and like why is this it's like well she's not an easy character it's like playing peach right peach isn't easy either um, so if you're like, oh, I'd rather play a character that's simpler, then that's also totally fine, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I guess instead of saying bored, would you say you get frustrated more so? Like you're not actually bored. You just like you wish you were better faster. Yeah, definitely that. Like the only character that I felt like somewhat fluent with is Byleth. Okay. 
but I mean, like ZSS, I always wanted to like main ZSS, but when I actually try to apply that stuff, I start losing um, interest because I can't really actually hit some of that stuff. And like you said, it's really complicated. Well, here's a question for you. How, how often do you practice ZSS? Not just play the game or go into quick play or play with friends, like actually go into the training mode and learn combos and practice them. Uh, once or twice a week. Okay, and how often do you play the game? Um, just like period, play the game. It doubles items with friends, whoever oh, you want I, I, at I, all. I play like almost every other day. Okay, so let's say four days a week you're playing, and of those four days, two of the days you're labbing, right? Something yeah. like that. And when you're labbing. Uh, are you labbing stuff? To, are you just kind of freestyling it and figuring things out for yourself? Or are you watching videos and stuff like that too and then trying trying videos? Well, kind of a mixture of both because like I really just taught myself how to be reverse recently. Okay. And then like I get sidetracked. And, like, I work on one thing and then I'll work on another thing in like a few minutes. I know that's not good, but... Well, how how long do you practice when you're actually practicing? Like in the training mode like, or whatever you're practicing. On one thing or like all together? Uh, when you're actually just in the training mode. Like let's say if we were to go to the training mode and I said practice your ladder combos on Battlefield against Donkey Kong or whoever you want. How long would you say that, that, that you do stuff like that? Uh, around 45 minutes. Okay. And then in those 45 minutes you're feeling bored, tired losing interest frustrated like are you satisfied with your more, or go ahead uh i would say more frustrated because like i'll land it in the practice and the next day i'll try it i can't land it or like you can't land play it in practice or you can't land it on somebody i can't land it on somebody okay um so I guess I can ask this question with another kind of question is, are you, I might've asked this before too, but are you musical at all? Or are, are you into any sports or have you played any sports like middle school, high school, anything like that? No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, what about the music stuff? I, I like music, but I don't play any instruments. What about drawing or painting? Dancing? I definitely draw. You definitely draw? Yep. Okay. So with drawing, I'd never seen your artwork before, but how long have you been drawing for? I would say about one or two years. Okay. And can you tell... Like, seriously. Yeah, so that, that's also important to say as well. So can you tell a difference between your first bit of artwork and your first couple of days versus uh, a year and a half later? Oh, yeah, I can tell a big difference. And do you see... Uh, do you typically draw similar things? Like, let's say if you draw faces... Have you been drawing faces for a year and a half or have you been drawing swords or dragons or cars or landscapes or whatever it is for the last year and a half or do you constantly switch up what you're drawing i um i keep it kind of balanced like i always go back and work on a certain area but i like to change it up so do you draw with i don't know marker pen pastels charcoal like what do you what's your main medium so to start off i use mechanical pencils okay because it's like whenever i want to get rid of the stencil i just break it yep. instead of keep sharpening mm -hmm. and then like i use markers to finish it okay so i guess i guess my 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 point and why i'm asking this is if you can take something like, let's say, art, whatever you happen to be drawing, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you know that it's going to be a process, right? And I'm assuming that you're enjoying, you're enjoying getting better at it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So with Smash, as far as, let's say, if you're playing ZSS or whatever, do you feel accomplished by if you do a combo or whatever you're practicing on, let's say if you do for an hour an hour a day or hour every other day do you feel accomplished when you're practicing or do you feel like you're just wasting your time 
It, it really depends on what I'm practicing and the day. Okay. Actually, you know what? I would say even another thing too. As you get better with art, I'm sure I'm sure this has happened as well to an extent. It might feel a little bit different though. As you get better with art, do you not do you find yourself learning things that are more difficult as you get better versus learning the basics every single day? Yeah, I um start learning more difficult things. Yeah, and like that's the thing. You start to get building blocks of your fundamental skill and you add it to whatever your new technique is. Let's say you're getting better at drawing eyes or hair or reflections or water, like things that are actually hard to draw, stuff like that. As you get better, those more difficult things don't seem to be that bad compared to if you just have never drawn in your life. It's like, okay, today we're going to draw a realistic face with hair and eyes and everything and like actual skin tone and like, make it look ridiculously realistic. Like trying to do that off the rip would be probably... I don't even say annoying, but like borderline impossible. You'd be super fed up, I'm, I'm sure. Right? So. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. What's that? Uh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's the same thing for, for ZSS or anything. It's like, okay, if you're working on movement and then you want to jump into zero to deaths right off the rip, it's like, I can barely, I can barely wave land or I can barely fall through platforms or barely recover or barely do whatever. And now I want to do the hardest thing that there's that it possibly is to do with this character it's like you're gonna have to do some building blocks in between and it's gonna take a long time i'm not even gonna say a year i'm gonna just say a long time so to put into perspective i don't know how often you draw or how many hours or how long it, your sessions are but for me with smash uh when i was learning smash in general and before like when i was putting up videos or anything like at the, the early days with falco and stuff it was roughly five or six hours a day almost every single day that's just what I did, right? So I'm not saying that I'm the best player in the world, but if you want to be at least as good as me, I'm not saying you even have to spend six hours a day, but recognize that it is going to take some sort of effort like that. Oh. Right? So if you don't want to spend six hours a day, that's totally fine. But if you're also wondering to yourself, how long does it take? It's like, well, there's people like Leo or like pre-patch zero, smash four zero, they're putting eight or 10 or 12 hours a day, right? So yeah. to say, and here's the thing, it's not like they have a magical skill and that they're untouchable by any means and you will never be as good as them. It's more so to put respect on their craft and say, okay, if it's taking them this long to be as good as they are, I shouldn't even be surprised that I'm at the level that I'm at because I've never done what they've done. If that That's makes fair. sense, right? So for you, yeah. So for you with playing ZSS, I was like, okay, I can. Let's say you're working on the combo. We'll go back to that. If you're working on a combo, and it's like, okay, well, I can do it in practice, and th then the next day I feel like I'm not warmed up, or I feel rusty, or I try to try to do it on one person, and everybody gets out of it. So this, it's not satisfying, right? You want it yeah. to just work immediately. I'll, I'll say with Falco's active hop combo, that's a combo I've probably done probably close to 80,000 times at least and I still mess it up I still don't do mm. it perfect right so it's not like I did it in the training room for like 25 minutes or an hour or even a week right it takes a insanely long time because every single time you do it it's a different situation it's different places on the stage different people have different ways of DIing out of things or air dodging your timing might be messed up it's online there could be lag you have to account for right you have to do it onto higher platforms lower platforms with rage without rage so all these different things you have to go through and experience to say okay these are the these are the components I have to change within the combo or within my muscle memory to make sure that this works. Sometimes people DI behind you and you have to jump back with them. Sometimes you have to DI or you have to delay your double jump so you jump a little bit higher because the character is floatier. Just small things like that. So there's tons of times yeah. in tournament, in practice, and in general that I'll be playing with somebody and I mess it up all the time. Right? Mm. So it's... I guess what I'm trying to say is don't think that if you mess something up that it's it means you're a failure by any means or that other players that are higher level players or top level players that they never make mistakes. Gotcha. Right? So with ZSS, if you really want to learn her stuff, it's like, okay, it doesn't have to take you five years to be good with ZSS, but recognize that it's not going to take you one hour, <laughs> right? Just like it's not yeah. going to take you one hour to be good at drawing. 
Does that make sense? That's that makes a whole lot of sense, and that was really helpful. So yeah, it boils down to just saying to yourself, can you stay composed while you're going through the growing pains of whatever you're learning? Like, as I I guess like for me, another thing too would be playing playing guitar. I've been playing guitar for about 17 years. And in oh. that time, I would put on my metronome on my phone or like I had an actual old like triangular metronome that had like the click that goes back and forth. And I would just do scales over and over again for seven hours. I'm not even kidding. I would skip school to do scales all day, <laughs> like legit all day. I don't know how my mom didn't kill me because <laughs> it's like this click was loud and piercing and annoying as shit. But I did that every single day. So now it's like, oh, I haven't played guitar in like two months or whatever, but I can still do everything I've done because I put the work in. I put the muscle memory in. I, I know the feeling of what I'm supposed to feel. Like I know that the, I know the timing. I have my, my hands synced up. So if I play, it sounds properly. and I'm not playing messy. Right. But um, I've also uh, been doing it for 17 years. Yeah. Right. So it's just another yeah. correlation again with, with ZSS. I'm going to start this game so that the uh, arena doesn't close. But it's another okay. correlation with you with, with doing combos or anything like that. It's like, for me, if I stopped playing Smash for two years and then came back and I had to do an active hot combo, I would be able to do it because I've put in all the time that I've done in the past, right? So I would say that for you with combos or whatever you're trying to do with ZSS, a lot of it is uncharted terrain where it's like, I've never tech chased in this way. I've never done this combo. I've never had someone DI out of this. I've never landed this successfully on a Pikachu or on a Bayonetta or on a Luigi or somebody who can just get out of stuff. Right, because if you're doing it actually perfect, then they can't. But if you've never done it perfect to a CPU or a player in a tournament against your baby sister in friendlies, whatever it might be, if you've never done it at all, it's like there's a lot of room to grow there still. Right. Gotcha. Like you'll notice too. Like I think it was a couple games ago, I zero to death you while casually talking. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I don't say that. I don't say that to impress you by any means. It's more so to say to you, how many hours do you think I've played this game and been talking and giving advice and paying attention to the other person while autopiloting everything that I'm supposed to be doing properly as far as doing my combos, IDJs, RAR backers, edge guarding, tech chasing, catching roll reads, all these things, right? I'm doing all these things while playing and not even saying what I'm doing. I'm saying what you're doing, right? And like I'm watching what mm -hmm. you're doing as well. And all of these things that I've done, it's taken years. <laughs> years to do this, right? It's not like, oh, I'm just I just talk and play. This is how like at this point in time, like, yeah, it kind of is how I just play, because I always talk and play. But if you're working on your autopilot, for example, if and I'll have other students that I'll do this with too, we'll focus up and we'll play a game and we won't talk and they'll do quite well. And then partway through or at the end of the game we'll play uh, let's say we'll, we'll play another game and we'll be talking and everything i just taught them they completely don't do right they just for, <laughs> they forget everything or they drop every combo or it's like i'm comboing them and they can't talk like they can't get out a sentence or they're trying to combo me and they just stop saying stuff because they're focusing on what they're doing and that's totally fine you don't have to be able yeah. to play and talk competitive smash is not <laughs> played by having a conversation while playing right like at the top level of play or any level of competitive play you typically have headphones on and you're not talking but being able to do that like once again it's a skill that takes a long time to develop right so there'll be a point in time like, yeah. let's say if you're doing your tech chasing over and over again for weeks or months or for the rest of time if this is a character you want to play as there'll be a point in time where you can casually talk to somebody and you're paying attention to how they te uh, their tech options you're paying attention to if they're jumping out of the corner you're paying attention to if they land like this then spot dodge uh you're paying attention to if they if you shield on platform you hit the shield and they jump immediately you're paying attention to all these things but you're not really paying attention because you're talking about your day or talking about some other thing right it's just it becomes subconscious right like your combos will mm -hmm. become subconscious as well i'll admit that whenever i try to show somebody an active hot combo and focus on it i typically mess it up Versus if I'm just talking and playing, like I was saying before, if I'm in that relaxed state, I kind of just play. <laughs> it just works out, right? Which is not always the case, but yeah. more often than not. But yeah, I would say it's it's something that you have to ingrain into your your muscle memory just over time, but it's going to take a long time. It's almost like 
I almost would prefer that it takes a long time because that means it's more of a learning curve and it's something that you can be proud of if you actually end up being good enough at it that you can do it and other people can't. I think it'd be kind of a slap in the face if I've been playing for 10 years and you've been playing for 10 days and we're the same skill. <laughs> right? That'd be terrible. Yeah. I'd be like, well, what's the point? Like, if I could be playing this for 10 years or 10 days, I'll come back when I feel like it and I'll just <laughs> pick up the game and just be better than everybody, right? So there's really no point in practicing. But if you can put the work in, just like if you're an artist as well, if you're someone who's really good at drawing, it's like, yeah, this took me 10 minutes to draw, but it took me a year and a half or two years to learn. Yeah. Right. So yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that that's my TED talk, bro. <laughs> uh basically if you're being bored or uh frustrated with your character, just know that it takes a long time. It really does, but it does pay off. And that's just how it is with anything, right? If you're into fitness or music or sports, shooting free throws or drawing or singing or anything. No one just does it in two seconds and they're they're a god. Right? And if they are, yeah. then they're probably on the Ellen show or famous. Or something <laughs> right but yeah let's uh let's get out of this game we'll okay. actually fight in the next one uh thanks for that that actually really answers two of my questions no problem bro that's the biggest thing too with being a smash coach in general is a lot of it is the mental side like i would say like 80 percent of your skill in this game is going to be your mental how, how good are you under pressure? How good are you at uh, understanding things? How good are you at problem solving, right? Or understanding things in general versus saying, how fast can you play, right? There's a lot of players out there that can combo way better than I can, but they're not nearly as good as me. It's like, well, why is that? Like, because a lot of the decision-making or spacing is bad. Their combos are great, like, insane, but their decision-making is bad. Their knowledge of the game is not there. They get frustrated when they're being camped and they just run in and they do stupid stuff, right? Yeah. So it's all together as a whole. It's just things that you have to, oh, not like this, that you have to just practice over and over again and just be aware of.